What's going on, guys? Tilton's back at you with another video. Steelers face the Tennessee Titans Thursday night in Heinz Field. Yeah, man, it's a short week. Both teams are uh, both teams have a short week, actually. Both teams have won four straight, I believe. So uh, this should be a very exciting game, very interesting and tough game. So one uh, uh, winning streak is going to end. Yeah, so it should be very interesting. I, I believe the Titans are currently six and three. They're six and three. Obviously, the Steelers are seven and two. Uh, they are currently first in the AFC South, which I I believe I do believe this is their uh, best start since two thousand eight. And, uh, I believe so. So, uh, you know, this should be a very interesting and tough game because the Titans, you know, don't underestimate Titans. You know, statistically, they may not look good, but they really are. They, they got, they got a, lot, a lot of great talent offensively and defensively, even on special teams sometimes. Yeah, so statistically, they may not look good, but trust me, they are. Do not underestimate them in any game, especially this game, because they always bring a challenge, especially against the Steelers, because they have a great history. Yeah, going back to the Houston Oilers days back in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, so it uh, should be a very interesting game. And the last time we did face the Titans, I believe it was in 2014, Monday Night Football was a very in, uh, very tough game. It was a... Uh, and I believe that game was in Tennessee. Yeah, and we uh, we barely won. I believe it, the score was 27-24, correct me if I'm wrong. And, uh, Bell I think it was or 30-33, I can't remember. Yeah, and at, and at the time, you know, we uh, Bell had a hell of a game. He had a career high game, I believe, over 200 yards and a touchdown. Yep. So, uh... Maybe it'll happen again, but, you know, the Titans, you know, their rushing defense is very physical, very yeah, tough. Yeah, because they definitely got some up upgrades since that game, since since that season. Yeah, of course. You know, you know, overall, you know, a better quarterback because they did have Zach Mettenberger playing. So, um, yeah, he not, was eh, eh, but, you know, the he, whole he, Titans team back then, you know, they just sucked. Right, and uh, they also had former uh, Steeler Nate Washington, and now they, I mean, you know, their team has just changed dramatically. You know, they got different coaches, different coordinators, different quarterbacks, obviously, different different team, you know, different everything, basically. I mean, speaking of different coaches, you know, their defensive coordinator, Dick LeBeau, was making his return to Pittsburgh. Yeah, former uh, f former Steelers defensive Long coordinator. Long-time Steeler. Yeah, uh, Dick LeBeau, man. So, uh, it's, it's going to be cool to see him back in Pittsburgh. Not uh, going to lie, I really, I really miss him a lot. He was such a great defensive coordinator. Yeah. Even though within his final seasons, the defense was kind of wearing off. Yeah, it was so, getting exposed. So, but. getting you know, promoting Keith Butler, defensive coordinator, kind of helped us a bit because they kind of changed up the defensive uh, schemes, schemes and plays. Right. You know, we weren't, you know, we weren't easy to, you know, kind of figure out and everything. You know, we weren't right. exposed as much. But uh, our defense has definitely upgraded a lot, you know, the past few seasons. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah, Dick LeBeau will be making his return to Pittsburgh. Uh, uh, obviously not uh, on our sideline, Tennessee's uh, sideline. But should be interesting. But let's get into the game, man. Let's start with the Titans. Yeah, let's start with the uh, Titans offense. Yeah, so, uh... uh I mean, you know, the Titans' offense is, uh, you know, they got a lot of goals, a lot of speed, a lot of aggression. So they especially, gotta, you know, especially with their uh, leader Mar uh, Marcus Mariota, who is a hell of a freaking uh, quarterback, right. passing and running. Like he's got quick feet. Yes, yeah, so, very quick feet. So, like he's very, very dangerous when he's uh, running the ball. He's very mobile. He's yeah. very good getting out of the pocket. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm not really worried about you know him passing the ball. You know, he's a very good passer, but I'm not really too worried about that. I'm more so worried about his mobility. He's probably one of the best. Uh, a mobile quarterback in the league right now, Perhaps. in my opinion. I, I put him up there with Cam Newton, Perhaps. in my opinion, because, you know, he's he's, he's just a freak. You know, He's, he's very, just dangerous when running the ball. Yeah. Like, he's a hard guy to take down, too. Yeah, he's very elusive. So, Mariota might be a challenge. Uh, like I said, I'm not really too worried about him passing the I ball. I mean, he's, he's got very good targets in Rashad Matthews, uh, Eric Decker, of uh, uh, rookie uh, wide receivers Corey Davis and who, Tywan who, Taylor. Who, when healthy, is, is a beast. Absolutely. Corey, Corey Davis is going to be a he's beast. Got, he's got two good tight ends in Delaney Walker and a, and a rookie tight end Jonu Smith. Like, he's got very good, very, very good uh, 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 targets. And a lot very of goals around him, too, because it really really fits with him. You know, he's he's young, so he gets a lot of young talent, which makes him better. Exactly. And, and, and going up against the Steelers, you know, secondary, which, you know, is suffering a loss from Joe Hayden, which his injury is actually not a fractured uh, fibula. It's actually, what, a sprain? I believe uh, I can't. I can't remember. Or a hairline uh, fracture. Or some but sort. I've heard he's supposed to be out three weeks. Uh, it's not confirmed, but we'll see. Apparently, he's supposed to be back uh, for the Ravens game, so that's good. Well, at least it's not you know out for the season because he's definitely a big helper in his yeah, defense he, and the he, secondary. He has really improved the secondary, man. He Absolutely. is a crucial member for the secondary, and I feel like that the loss of Joe Hayden is really going to affect us and and especially in this game, especially against Mariota. Because you got to think who's going to be uh, covering, uh, who's going to fill in for Joe Hayden, going to be and Cody Cody uh, Cody Sense. But you know he's not bad, but he's not really the kind of corner you know that would right you know help you know. You know, decide as like number one or number two. Right. By the way. You know, he. I consider Cody Sensball as a mediocre quarterback. He's not a quarterback that I would want starting, but he is a good. You know, uh, basically a, a rental, a one week rental is what right. I consider this. Right. You know, and maybe I, even William Guy because he does have experience on the outside, even though he's better in the slot. Exactly. Because that's where he makes most of his plays. Exactly. But I do have a feeling that Cody Sensball and William Guy will split reps opposite of Audie Burns, and I do feel like that. 
because of Joe Hayden's loss, the Titans' pass game is going to take advantage of that, and they're really going to attack the right side very often. And that's why that's why I fear. But you know, Sean Davis is on that side. He's real good on the ball, so that puts a little more you know confidence on that side. But you know, losing Joe Hayden is really going to hurt us. You know, we also lost you know Mike Mitchell, even though in my opinion it's not really that big of a loss because he's just playing out freaking sucks. Actually, I you know obviously I don't wish injury upon anyone, even Mike Mitchell, but it kind of does help us. Because I I do feel like J.J. I mean, you got a, you, yeah you got a better. you got a younger uh, 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 player possibly better uh, safety than J.J. Wilcox. I I consider him better. You know. I mean I consider him you know more, you know a lot more than. Mike you know Mitchell. he makes more plays. You know he's uh he's younger. He's more he's more he's quick faster, to the ball. He has more veteran experience and you know he's better at tackling. Yeah, he misses tackles, but he's better than Mitchell. And he's very very quick to the player and to the football. Something that Mike Mitchell is not. Right. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure J.J. Wilcox and Robert Golden will get reps on the uh, at the free safety position with right. a bunch of injuries. So, but but this you know this sort of receiver core at the time is going up against a somewhat bruised uh, Steelers secondary, even though in my opinion it'll still be good. You know, it's going to be it's very going to be interesting. You know, to see how uh, the Steelers are going to do with the absence of Joe Hayden yeah. and Mike Mitchell. Yeah, but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you know Cody Sense Ball and William Gay are just you know a filler for a week until we promote. Cameron Sutton from IR. Right. Which I hope is very soon because I really want to see Cameron Sutton play. Obviously, we drafted uh, him in the third round. He was from Tennessee yeah, along so, with Joshua Dobbs, who's yeah. actually, you know, a backup. But <laughs> Excuse me, but yeah, um, you know, the Titans, I believe their passing offense is uh, 27th in the league. But like I said, and, you know, I kind of feel that that's to blame on the offensive coordinator. I, I can't remember who the Titans offense coordinator is, uh, but I do kind of feel like that their offense coordinator has kind of hurt them, their offense. And, you know, kind of prevent them from showcasing their full potential. Kind of like how Todd Haley has done with us, you know. All season, you know, this, this Steelers offense is not this Steelers offense the way was, they should. This Steelers offense coming into the season was bound to be a top five, top three offense. Top it's, two? Yeah, I don't think it's even top 20 right now. It's top 10. Oh, it is? I believe so. Crumb and Crumb I believe it's top 10. Well, still, you Either know, way, this, offense, be higher, this offense is not performing well. Yeah, it should be higher knowing the talent we have. You know, Martavis Bryant, you know, who's just now getting, you know, Back into the system, somewhat comfortable into the, into the, into the uh, team, into the, the offense. And, right, and Antonio Brown, Juju Smith-Schuster, who's been playing like beast, Le'Veon Bell, James Conner, who seems every time he gets the ball, he makes a great play. It's, it's almost like a first down. Like he's he's a tremendous yeah. runner. Yeah, yeah. So with all the talent, you know, we should definitely be playing a lot better. So, and I feel like Todd Haley has really dragged us. He's really hurt this offense. And a fun fact for you: when when uh when Juju Smith-Schuster got that touchdown, what was Vince McDonald? It was Juju Smith-Schuster. Was it Juju? Yeah, it was Juju Smith-Schuster. Okay, well, I, I can't remember. I, whoever who got the touchdown before we got too much. No, as a matter of fact, I'm wrong. It was yeah, actually yeah, yeah, McDonald. Yeah, Vance McDonald. Vance McDonald, after he got his uh, touchdown, uh, we were, uh, well, Todd Haley chose to go for one. He went to, uh, he went to choose for an extra point. He, cho- he chose Boswell to kick the extra point. But Big ben, we were down by two. Exactly. The score was 15 or 17-15 with the, with the Colts up, and he decided to go for an extra point. I know, that doesn't make sense. Big Ben literally told him like like we're not we're not getting getting one point. We're gonna to try to go for two. We're, and, tra- we're gonna try to tie this game up. And it obviously worked out with Martavis Bryant getting the two point conversion. Absolutely. Which really helped us, you know, tie the game up and uh, eventually win the game. And I did hear that Todd Haley is on the hot seat right now. Thank God he knows he should be. Seriously, he, he definitely honestly, should be. honestly I think we should get rid of him soon. Honestly, I'd rather have Ben make the calls. He, Quite frankly, I think this game is actually a true test for Todd Haley. Yeah, really. it really is. I mean, you know, the t- maybe even the Packers game too. I don't know if he's still even with us. After honestly, game. honestly, I had Ben make the calls, but but yeah, the Titans' offense, you know, the passing offense, you know, statistically don't look good, but uh, you know, don't underestimate them. There, I, I, honestly, I feel like that the Titans, we have yet to see the best of the Titans. Oh yeah, and that's scary, dude. That's scary. And you know, the most dynamic part of that offense is a freaking rushing game. Yeah, <laughs> with DeMarco My Murray, God, dude, it's one of the best rushing offenses in the league. With DeMarco Murray, who had three touchdowns against the Bengals. Uh, last week, including the game winner, Derrick Henry, who's been playing like a beast, and uh, they even use a Dory Jackson in there, who's a cornerback. Exactly, he can play all sorts of positions, really, because uh, he's just a free- all-out freaking nature. Yeah, plus you know, plus um, uh, Marcus Mayo's mobility really helps that too. So exactly, so the rushing game is very, very scary, very like unstoppable. Really. Yeah. So this rushing defense has to step up here. And through the, that's, yeah, that's, exactly, because through the course of the season, you know, the Steelers' uh, rushing defense has allowed some. You know, running backs to go right through them. Yeah, Leonard Fournette, you know, um, you know, Joe Mixon at, at times, you know. But, uh, you know, this this, uh, this uh, you know, rushing defense has to step up. It's going to be very cool. They definitely have game. to. Especially, you know, it's going to be at home. You know, they got to do something. Yeah. And as for their defense, I mean, their defense is okay. Um, 
I think the best I mean, part about the defense really is the pass rush with Brian Arakpo. Uh, nah, not really. I, I wouldn't consider it the pass rush because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe they have only 14 sacks this season. Oh, that's true. Which is very surprising. Well, they still got some good pass rushers. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No and doubt. Brian Arakpo, uh, Casey. I can't remember his uh, first. Jarrell Casey. Jarrell Casey um, and uh, Derek Morgan, I think it is. Yeah, so uh, they got some really good pass rushers. They got a lot of speed, a lot of strength on that, uh, on that pass rush. But surprisingly, they only have 14, um, 14 sacks on the season. But, um... You know, uh, like I said, you know, don't underestimate them because they're a very fierce team. Absolutely. We have yet to see the best of them. So, and in the second half of the season, I think we're going to see a lot more from the Titans, possibly in this game. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. Their defense backs, you know, they're pretty good too. You know, Logan Ryan, you know, he hasn't done too bad really. I, uh, I haven't really seen much of Bryce McCain, who actually was a former Pittsburgh Steeler. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why we didn't decide to resign him. Instead, we decided to keep Antoine Blake for some freaking odd reason. Yeah, but then, you know, that led to us getting uh, Audie Burns and Joe Hayden. So, it all worked out. Yeah, it did. But, you know, maybe even a Dory Jackson. I've seen some plays here and there for him, but the main defense back I'm really worried about is Kevin Byer. Yeah, dude. He, I, correct me if I'm wrong. He's only in his second year, I believe. This and is his second year in the NFL. This is his second year in the NFL, and this is, like, he leads the league right now in interceptions with six. Yeah, and most of them have come from AFC North teams. Yeah, he got three from the uh, 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 Browns. He got two from the Ravens. So, uh, like, that's scary. That's really scary. Yeah, so, um,. <laughs> Granted, both quarterbacks of the Browns and Ravens suck, but he's going right. up against... I mean, Big Ben's had an ass season, really. Yeah, he's had issues with interceptions, uh, but, you know... I, I mean, Big Ben's still good, uh, you know, recognizing what the safeties are going to be. Right, of course. You know, he's still a... I still consider him an elite quarterback. Even even the season he's had, he's kind of having, like, a Peyton Manning-ass season, only, of course, not as bad. Right. You know, because every quarterback gets to that stage. You know, it happened with Peyton Manning. Yeah, every happened all- with Brett Favre. Uh, happened with Dan Marino. It's probably gonna happen to Brady sooner or later. So every quarterback gets to that stage. So, exactly where they just don't have it anymore. Yeah, but uh, Ben's still playing good. You know his receivers are still working. But this uh, still is offense. This still is offense going up against an average. I, I consider it an average defense of the Titans. You know. Well, the, uh, I consider their uh, their secondary average. I, I do feel like it could be better, but uh, I think it will only get better. Right. But the, but the, uh, the main thing that the, the the main factor on their defense is going to be that rushing defense. Yeah. So, you know, I, I believe they're seventh or sixth right now in rushing defense. So, uh, But Bell usually does play good against good rushing defenses. Really. Right, right. But uh, it's possible that they could shut him down for most of the game. But uh, I do feel like we might have to depend on our passing offense a little bit in this game. Especially especially in the late times. Because right. the Titans always bring a tough challenge, especially to the Steelers. They always keep it close. So, our passing, yep. our passing offense is going to have to step up, seriously. A- absolutely. And Todd Haley, Todd Haley has to be on point in this game. If he's if he's not, then there's no guarantee, in my opinion, that he's going to be fired. Yeah, I real. think he should be fired right now. He ain't doing anything that, for this that, offense. I mean, that's how I see it. Yeah, he ain't doing anything for this offense. This offense ain't clicking like it should be. Like it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like Todd, like obviously as an offensive coordinator, he's the one that takes the plays, decides uh, the uh, the offensive players of what to do. Right. And everything like that. And Todd and Haley he has, hasn't done anything all season. Like I believe I believe last week it was second and eighteen, I believe third and nineteen, two two different times, and he ran it. He's not making he's not, I mean, make, he's not making the right calls. I understand you got Bell in the back uh, in the backfield. Who's uh, I mean he's obviously one of the best running backs in the league, probably the best running back. In but the league what's right in this? But if it's a second or third and long, like I like don't run. I run the pass. And, and against the thirty first ranked de- uh, defense in the league, passing defense, especially considering that the Colts had no secondary whatsoever. I still think we should have blown them out. Even but, though, you know, yes, still, I, still have you yeah. know, issues playing against bad teams. but Yeah, we got to win. Uh, that's good. We got to win. You know, depending on how we got, we got to win, which is good. And uh, going back to what you said about, you know, we have struggles with bad teams. Anytime we usually have a bad or decent performance, um, we always bounce back with a good one. So very well could uh, happen. I mean, look again. Look at look what ha- look what we did against the Jaguars. Then the next week we faced the Chiefs. Look what happened. We gave them their first loss. Yeah, exactly. And that was in uh, Kansas City. And we always perform good against good teams, and we always perform good, and we're always a tough challenge uh, in prime time, especially at home. And ten- so, Tennessee's a pretty good team. Yeah, they're a very good team. I think they're going to keep it close. They're going to be a major challenge, man. I think it's going to be my favorite Steelers game so far this season, depending on how it goes. I think it's going to be a true test for this entire entire Steelers team, really. Yeah, seriously. I mean, you know, like I said, statistically, the, the, the Titans, especially their passing game, may not look good, but they really are. Yep. It's just their coaches and offense coordinator is really – you know, dragging them, bringing them down. That, I mean, I, that's how I see it. That's how Todd Haley is being with us. I feel like that's kind of happening with the Titans as well. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just me because all that talent on that team and all that passing uh, offense, and he can't perform very well. I, I, I just, I don't. 
It could be bad. It could be bad season. just having you know a mediocre season like how a lot of quarterbacks do like throughout their final seasons like they don't perform as well as the, they used to. Right. But Todd Haley's the one making the calls and they should be connecting, but they're not. Yeah. But you know it should be a very interesting game. Uh, key to win this game. Well, uh, offense first of all protect Ben. Continue to spread the ball around. Don't make mistakes because the Titans are a team that will take advantage of those mistakes, especially their rushing offense. Absolutely. Todd Her- Todd Haley. Be on point, seriously. Because if you're not, I, I bet you will be fired. Yeah, uh, or soon. I'm, I'm sure this is the last thing with Pittsburgh, though. It yeah. has to be. Yeah, I'm and, sure. And uh, finish your drives, and if you get into the end, uh, and get into the end zone, especially if you're in the red zone. If you're in the red zone, get in the end zone. This team, you know, needs you know it needs work. It needs fixes, especially with uh, tackling, defensive tackling, and. Uh, and, uh, and red zone offense. We need. I believe, I believe the Steelers have the worst red zone offense in the league right now. Yeah, which is uh, obviously irritating. So very irritating because how are we supposed to win games if we can't get into the end zone? Yeah, we can't always rely on field goals. Exactly. So uh, and a defense, you know, just apply pressure, get uh, get to Mariota, stop the run, force mistakes, and uh, cover your man and finish tackles. Yes, you tackles have, are you very have crucial. To we saw that last week. You know, with Chester Rogers getting that touchdown after Mike Mitchell fucked up. You know, uh, Ryan Shazier missed a tackle on point, led to a first down. I believe that led to a score as well. Finished tackles, they're very crucial. Absolutely. We have all we all know that. You know, this team has struggled with tackles the past few seasons, and it's really, really hurt us. So, finish tackles, seriously. Yep. But uh, against the Titans, that's going to be tough because they got a lot of speed and aggression on that team. That's going to be it's gonna be tough to bring them down, especially guys like Derrick Henry and DeMarco Murray. Without a doubt. So, uh, should be a very interesting game. And, uh, honestly, we can beat the Titans. I do believe so. But uh, if we play like last week, I don't see it. But like I said, after a bad or a decent performance... Seals usually have a very good performance yeah. against a pretty good team. Yeah, so... Uh, should be a very interesting game, man. Uh, let us know who you guys think will win in the comments below. And uh, should be a very interesting, exciting, fun, fun game. tough game, man. And uh, I think it will be a close game. Very well could come down to the wire. I can see it. It wouldn't surprise me. It could come down It would not surprise me. To, yeah, so it uh, should be a very interesting game. Uh, and honestly, I think, I think that this rivalry... Is very underrated and very underappreciated. These two always put on a good show. Exactly. So uh, should be a very interesting game. I can't wait and um, let's try to get this dub and advance eight and two. But uh, good luck, Titans, and uh, see you guys Thursday. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace. Oh, by the way, huge shout out to our brother-in-law, uh, All Around Four, aka uh, the Ravens Flock, and uh, you know he's a Titans fan as well. Um, yes, he is a Titans and Ravens fan. I believe he was a Titans fan before. He became a yeah, Ravens Yeah, because he grew, up, he grew up more in, tennis, in Tennessee before, you know. Before the Ravens were even established. Right. So, a uh, huge shout out to him. Uh, good luck. And uh, hope you guys bring a tough challenge. Hope we bring a tough challenge to you, man. It should be a very fun, interesting game, man. Uh, Thursday night should be very fun to watch. So, uh, huge shout out to him. And uh, let's just get this dub. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace! Peace.